And apparently when they smile, their smiles are huge, their teeth are huge, and it's like um, they're almost like Teshar cat. Like, you know, like oh, what we how know. Do, how, does, how very upsetting that would be, boy. Yeah, and they're extraordinary looking. I asked, I asked them what color they were. Does he remember a color? And he couldn't, he couldn't tell me what color. He couldn't remember what color they were. Now, he was so traumatized by what happened to him that it, it took him months to just talk. He couldn't talk for the longest time. He couldn't and say anything. Started, he was just mute? He was mute, yeah. Good he was so traumatized, Lord. he was mute. He's only been able to talk about this fairly recently. I'm talking the last few weeks. So this, this happened when? This happened recently then? That, this happened this March. In March? Yes. And where they found it, him in March. And where exactly did it happen? Where pre- Precise place? Um, it's, uh, there is a place city called Palopo in uh, southern Sulawesi. It's just above uh, uh, an area called Taraja, which is famous. It's a famous place because of the way they do their funerals and the way they bury their dead. Uh, National Geographic has done shows on them and that sort of thing. And, and what Tarajan, so anyways, what Tarajans do is they sacrifice several buffalo and they sacrifice several pigs in a funeral and then they hang their dead on the side of cliffs, right? And, and it's famous for that area. But it, Palopo is a city that's just north of that and it was just an hour north of Palopo. In, on a mountain there. So, okay, so we're getting an idea, and folks, you can look on a map of Sulawesi or Google Palopo Sulawesi, and I'm sure you'll be able to find the region where mm-hmm. this happened. It might be very interesting to look. You can even look at it probably at a satellite view of it these days. It might be yeah. very interesting to take a look and see what you can see. But go ahead. So uh, that's where, that's the mountains where they were found, and apparently this mountain is, that area is famous for these. Uh, these beings, they, they are around there quite a bit. Um, and there's all sorts of other things that happen in this area, too. But like uh, what sort of the, other things? So, well, we're going to take a little well, brief break, and then we're going we're gonna to get into this area, folks. We're, we're taking a journey into another reality here. We'll be right back. You're listening to Whitley Strieber's Dreamland. This is the edge of the world. We're back with Alan Lammers, uh, talking about some extraordinary events and some extraordinary creatures in Sulawesi in Indonesia that apparently have been around for a long time. And since the story he's been telling about a man who disappeared while hiking along with a group who were never found again, uh, was, uh, is, took place last March. This is still happening big time. So go ahead, Alan. Let's continue now. Well, if we look a bit at the timeline about when they left on January 31st and when he was found on the 4th of March, that's, that's three months. Right. And there's, you can't even survive three months. You can't survive three months with no food. Yeah. So my, so my question is, is where was this kid? I don't know where he was. Um, and how he, he managed he, to live He doesn't either, walk. does he? Uh, it's very spotty memory. Um, apparently, this is common when you meet these beings, that the memories will be wiped clean, and people have a hard time remembering them. What what bits of memory has he come up with? Uh, he has the memories of um, him, them trying to show him how to save one of his friends who got very sick, and he has memories of um, them talking to him and telling them things. And he what, has, does you did he tell you any of these things? Yeah, he he. I'm I'm still digging what they said to him out of him. Um, he's very uh, he's very reserved about that. He's very he doesn't really want to remember, to be honest with you. And so it's hard to get this information out of him. So I'm still working on it. Okay, um, I managed to record some of it on on tape. And the reason why I say some of it is a fresh bunch of mat trees while I was recording uh, went dead. Um, you know so. I have to go. That's a familiar problem. Happened. So there's something. Yes. This this presence is was right around you while you were recording this. Otherwise, the batteries so. wouldn't have gone dead. Yes, I think so. I think it's. I think oh, it's around Lord. me. Lord. Uh, uh, so um, I'm sorry if I'm jumping all around. With, no, no, with that's me. fine. That's fine. We're here to listen. Um. 
So it's but, and you may feel like, like you're jumping all around, but actually, when you listen to the whole interview, you'll find you told a very coherent story 